What's up guys, GT here. So one of the coolest things to do on the guitar is to do ambient swells and for the longest time I've been doing this trick using my volume knob on the guitar. But if you have an expression pedal, your life is much more easier and you can easily do it using your modeling software or the XFX2 in this case. I have the Sonic Cake V Express expression pedal. It's fairly easy to set up. I'll put a link in the description box as to how I set it up so you can check it out but I'm assuming you have an expression pedal and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do some ambient swells using it but before we do that it's time for the honorable mention for this video a huge round of applause and a huge thank you to Arjun Velmers who's made a contribution towards the channel through my PayPal. I really appreciate it and thanks a lot for making such a sizable contribution towards the channel. It really made my day and in case you're wondering how you can support me, check the link in the description box below as to how you can send anything towards my PayPal and if you can't do that, subscribing to the channel is the least you can do to support me. It keeps me motivated and I'll keep creating more videos like this for you for free. Alright, enough of that. Let's put two minutes on the clock and let's check out how you can do ambient swells using the Axe 2. Alright, I've got a preset here in front of me. You obviously need a lot of reverb and a lot of delay because you want longer sustains and a good sustained note when you do your ambient swell. So this is how the preset sounds. <laughs> So what we're going to do is add a volume block, block in um, to be able to control the volume of the overall preset and to be able to change it using our expression pedal. Now the first thing you might think is add a volume block over here. That might not be correct to do because you will still achieve the ambient swell but what's going to happen is that you're applying your volume block after the delay and the reverb that's going to cut off your delay and reverb signal as well the moment you make your volume go to zero. So the place you want to apply it is before your delay and reverb and what you're going to do next is right click on this link icon which is the icon for selecting a modifier on the particular volume knob. So in the source you want to select your expression pedal. For me it's set up as external one because I'm going into the external one port on the back of the XFX2. You select that and now if you turn up and down your expression pedal which I'm doing with my foot you can see that the level is going up and down. So when I close this you can see the volume is getting changed now as I am moving my foot up and down and believe it or not it's as simple as that. Now if I play something this is how it's going to sound. That's pretty much it guys. That's how you can achieve a volume swell or an ambient swell using the Axe FX2 and your expression pedal. Make sure you apply the volume block before your delay and your reverb or whatever effects you want to hear once the ambient swell kicks in. That's pretty much it guys. Let me know what else you'd like me to cover in the two minute tips. I'll be happy to cover this in the shorter segment of a tutorial and let you guys know what my thoughts are on that particular topic. Uh, as always, make sure you give this video a like and comment your thoughts below. And in case you aren't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. It really helps a lot and it's absolutely free. Until I see you guys again in the next video, make sure you stay safe. Keep rocking guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.